right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. In this video, you're gonna see me paint my buddy Clay's tank, brand new lowbrow tank for his sporty chopper. And then after that, some beauty shots and some awesome riding shots. Uh, we actually went up to Virginia. Uh, we're in Lodi, Glade Springs, kind of around Clay's area. Uh, he showed us around a little bit, rode on some of the best riding roads I've ever been on so far and uh yeah it was awesome but anyway after that we get into the bike a little bit more we talk to clay a little bit he takes us through the bike uh why the tank looks like it looks like and some of the inspirations behind the new tank and uh all that good stuff but yeah it's just a nice uh just laid back conversation at the end so definitely stick around for that but yeah anyway without further ado let's get into the video and we'll catch y'all at the end
What's up y'all we've been ripping a little bit today y'all probably saw me just got done painting my buddy clay's tank and i'm standing right here with the mayor low die What's son <laughs> <laughs> shoot man well take us through this bike well i got it back in 2019 bought it off a buddy of mine out in tennessee and uh his a uh, frame and uh had the motor in it was a roller it didn't look a lot like this but it used to have a what let me start over it's a 94 883 originally and uh ended up doing the 1250 hammer kit got cams in it got screaming eagle heads on it and stuff done all that stuff right but uh <clears throat> it had a tank the reason I, the whole reason i bought the bike it had this crazy tank on it that had like this devil scene or like reaper thing graveyard thing yeah. going on with it and it was cool but uh I got tired of kind of screwing the paint up on it all the time. Because it was like, old already. It didn't it have much old. clear coat left on it either. Yeah, the dude I got it off of said the guy, Dirty Ed, he had signed it in the bottom uh, part of the tank. Said that uh, he painted it 
a long damn time ago and run it on a pan head in like the 70s and 80s and then it kind of loses track and he bought it at bike week in like daytona or something yeah and i was like man i want that tank i want that tank i want that tank and then finally the only way i could get a hold of the tank was to buy the bike right i had a 99 sportster back then and i was like well maybe i can sell that thing and get a hold of this one and i did but uh, I got tired of tearing up that tank, and it made it worse when I put eight overs on the front end of it because it had sixes. And yeah, that thing's like up. freaking tall, dude. <laughs> it's got a gangster lean from the hood. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't get a full tank of gas for nothing. And because uh, you had, you were telling me you had to like stop, sit there on the bike, yeah, get it off, and fill it. Gas. <laughs> God, so that Braxton, gets old, dude. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and uh, so Braxton. He has a one of those lowbrow tanks. I forget which one it is. It's just a narrowed peanut. It's a little bit taller. Yeah. But it's got that fill neck up in the top corner up here. And I was like, well, I'm not going to put a longer kickstand on it. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> so I'm going to just get a gas tank that works better. And this one's a little bit more narrow and a little bit taller with that fill neck where it's at. And I was like, well, that's pretty sick. So I snagged it. Found a lowbrow coat. Bam. Run it. <laughs> Run it. But I'll, yeah. But uh, then I was like, well, me and Seth, we'd talked about yeah. uh, you doing a tank for me at one point in time and then kind of keeping it along the lines of it. Right, yeah, just paying tribute to the old one, yeah, but, yeah. like, have, having that new, new flair on it. Like, the same, like, your idea yeah. on what he had going on. Yeah. And, and I you, think you killed it. Well, you sent me that album cover, too, and that helped with, like, the direction. I can't remember the album cover. Uh, uh, the band Wraith, uh, I think it's Undo the Chains. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, that's really close to kind of what i'd like going on to see going on on that tank you know and then yeah uh, you pulled it out dude <laughs> pulled out all the stops it looks good i love it i had to hook up my bud man <laughs> got the little chevrolet bow tie in there for the real ones <laughs> <laughs> i know because we talk about all the time both yours and my year models i got those uh oh no yours don't have it but the a's do Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they got, got the little... Speed Sportsters got that Chevrolet bow tie. <laughs> yeah, they got the Chevrolet bow tie, so... Almost traded it for one just for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, dude, we went ripping the day. Like, we were leaning. It's weird to see a chopper that stands this tall lean as far. Yeah, <laughs> yeah lean, yeah, like, way over. Snake today, 421. It's uh, 489 curbs and 32 miles. We didn't ride the whole thing. Golly. But, uh... It was sick, man. I'm glad I finally got y'all up there. It's just, and then they, they got them, it's like, I describe it like ribbon candy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at like Christmas, they just back and forth, back and forth, and you're as, as fast as you can get it up and over, the next one's coming, and you're slinging it back to the other side. I downshifted one good time, and I felt my... Accident the <laughs> yeah, she uh, she got a little squirrely yeah, on I mean, me. man, it's I, I call it place my home track because I've rode 421 as long as I've been on motorcycles, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's a killer road, man. Just it's it's easy to get to. It's quick. You can go right up in the middle. You can shoot to one side and go to Bristol. Yeah. Out towards the lake. You can shoot to the other side and then come out in uh, Mountain City, Tennessee, where we come through today. And I mean, it's all good riding. There's a lot of killer rides around here, man. Just great riding. Oh yeah, dude. And then these kinds of bikes, man. They just this one specific. Well, I mean, I'm sure yours does too. But they eat the mountain. A yeah. While. Dad was saying he was dragging the pegs and he couldn't keep up with us because I mean we were just flicking them in, out, oh, in, yeah, out. He dragging floorboards. Yeah. Don't ride jet skis on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> But, dude, I just love, now with that eight over on there, because you had six on it, right? Yeah, I did. And now if the wind blows, it's going <laughs> to, the wind blows remotely hard, it might fall over. Flop right on <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah. But, dude, because you've, you've had this for, you've had this cell set up, this bike, for how long again? I bought it October of 2019, and it had stock front end. It had a 19 in the front. That's the same back wheel. Um, it had chain conversion stuff on it had a couple different pieces didn't have bars right uh but i've tried i've tried different front ends i've tried different bars i've had different seats on it and i think this is the setup that i like the most now Cause yeah because you put bars i've ever had and the widest bars i've ever had on a bike at all because i'm used to just riding like i've had rabbit ears i love rabbit ears i've yeah. had them tight z bars but man this is comfy like we do a lot of traveling we We've been banging out some miles. Lately. I was going to say, you just got back from West Virginia on a trip not long ago. Took the, yeah. Did you take this set up to Kentucky, too? Uh, or was that a little different? 
uh i had that seat on there but i had the z bars because hell i put brand new z bars on my bike uh went to the house put it on the kickstand i guess i didn't get the kickstand down all the way <laughs> and then i'm walking up to the porch and dad goes oh no and then i turn around and my bike's going through the yard like oh this, no i'm like <laughs> I'm running and then it just falls over and then they're just like cheap ass bars so they, i picked it up and they were folded up and twisted and i was like yeah Man. so i put them they're cool z bars i got off chopper swapper right but they're just super tight and they're not like if you're going to travel they're not traveling bars they're right yeah they're more like good. ripping through yeah. like if bar hopping bars quick, <laughs> yeah they're not good for going three hours to kentucky <laughs> no heck no but this set this setup went to uh, west virginia it looks comfortable it when you're great. sitting on it dude it and looks real that comfortable. built well i use one of them xfill 80 bags with the gel pad on it and it just you know it's got all that mole or mole or whatever <laughs> whatever i don't know <laughs> they uh it straps right up man and i lean right back on it and i got them highway highway peg things yeah the prism pegs the I forget what they actually call them but uh those are great man i mean they just clamp right to the down tubes they don't move they don't uh spin or nothing you just, just lean right look. back on that bag put your hands up put your feet on them things yeah and cruise because i even said it, it feels it's one of those bikes with that setup it feels like a big bike it feels yeah. like you're sitting yeah, they're the same down. sitting I mean, on back this is actually bigger than mine <laughs> it's like what eight inches longer than yeah it's the from the from a stock uh wheelbase but yeah dude today was ripper of, oh, yeah. of a day yeah, some good riding i wish we'd have got a little bit more in but yeah choppers do as choppers do yeah mine uh broke down a little bit but we fixed it tracked it down to a wire that wouldn't crimped all the way down but we got it at, it did uh, take a trailer ride today. it did take a trailer she ride today she's, on the trailer yeah she's uh she sometimes puts up a fight and just wants to be a trailer princess <laughs> for a minute <laughs> this one, one time man i had the uh i was out riding with the john city boys yeah and we were on the back side of watauga lake and the diaphragm and the carburetor, I mean, it's like a condom. It's got a hole in it. It's not going to work. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so apparently diaphragm in that carburetor got a hole in it. And it just died. Yeah. So I'm sitting here. I mean, it's probably like a 15, 20% grade for two miles. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> so it gets old. And in the shoulder of the road, it's probably like this wide. You got bank, then you got weight. <laughs> so we were, uh, well, I was pushing it up the side of this road. And this guy... He pulls up to the left of me and he's like, hey man, I just hosed all the horse crap out of this trailer. Uh, <laughs> you you can put it in here and I'll take you wherever you need to go. I said, man, I don't care if it's knee deep. <laughs> yeah, just get me off this thing. Uh, I'll throw it in there on its side. I don't care. <laughs> I'm tired of pushing it. It was like 105 degrees. We just, we were supposed to be going swimming. I was ready to go swimming. Oh pushing no. Pushing motorcycle in the sun. That ain't no cool. Nah, it was not fun. <laughs> but she likes, I mean, she likes to ride in the truck bed and stuff too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. What's been what was worst and was uh, the best moments on the bike if you can think of them. Man, worst. Well, worst is definitely laying it down over here and breaking my leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was coming home from work one night and uh, over here at an intersection, just four-way intersection, red lights and everything. At two o'clock in the morning, I used to work night shift. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of like swooped out. I wasn't flying because, I mean, you can't fly through there. No. <laughs> but I swooped out and then come back in. And when I got on the gas, I, I guess I'd gotten into some pea gravel or something. And when I did, it just went, boom. It was like getting 400, uh, body slammed by some 400 and some pound dude. God. Wow, <laughs> just slammed. And I was like, oh, God, I can't believe I just did that. So I got up, picked it up, kicked the kickstand out. And then I realized my leg was broke. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and buddy of my work was behind me so he was like what's up man you know yeah oh uh, and the best best when i go out there and i fire i, I turn the key and it actually starts right up. yeah because <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, i had i had some firing issues and you had fire yeah issues. we worked on mine all evening yesterday <laughs> uh ended up being a battery um hopefully hopefully it's just a battery and it's not some other kind of something that's what i'm saying on. yeah but electrical issues i'm just i'm like you man i'm not keen with electrical work it's not my strong i suit. i know i know like ground and positive po negative and positive that one right there shocky that one probably won't <laughs> that's right yeah yeah <laughs> if you start arcing it you got power <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> don't touch your fender with the wrench if you're on the hot side of the battery yeah it'll dude. Hurt. It'll hurt. but yeah it's freaking i think the i think the tank 
looks killer on here. I love the old tank, but now. Yeah, the old tank's cool. It's still at Jacob's house. I still ain't made it back down here to get it. No, oh, like, shoot. Come get it, dude. And I was like, oh, yeah, I understand. But they are how tall and skinny with the front, because this bike is already kind of skinny. It's like riding a stick horse. <laughs> <laughs> Justin told me, he's like, go out there and get on that bike. His uh, big twin. Yeah. And I was like, man. I feel like. Get on like, jet ski or <laughs> yeah man yeah <laughs> i'm just used to riding stuff like this i've rode stuff like this the majority of the time that i've had my motorcycle license i just apparently don't know no better right yeah you know it's like oh i didn't know they could ride smooth <laughs> yeah that's all i'm saying man i get on something with like some suspension and some comfort which this one's as comfortable i guess as it's gonna be sort of yeah you know like because this seat screwed up on me the other day well right now this broke on me the other day uh, <laughs> good <laughs> so i kind of fixed it wholeheartedly and half-assed i mean it works uh i mean it's not uncomfortable but i'm sure if you hop on some big old bagger with a backrest and football uh, a backrest and floorboard you're not compared to that over. yeah <laughs> Oh man, that's that's not why I'm out here riding. It's a it's a job to ride these things, you know. Oh like yeah, you gotta keep them on the road. And, I mean, you can't if you know. You got carry tools. Yeah, that's you, what I was saying. We you got what well, you take carry one half inch wrench and something else. What well, you uh, carry some screwdrivers? Wrench, carry a couple screwdrivers. <laughs> oh, got a got multi tool. Got a uh, Got the good one here, and then them Nipix. Golly, Buy I Nipix. Want one. This ain't sponsored. Buy Nipix. <laughs> Buy Nipix. <laughs> they work. I need some. But yeah, I don't go nowhere without like that uh, Carhartt book bag or whatever yeah, on yeah. the back. I don't go that nowhere without. Coming super handy. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I got a backup. I have a backup coil. I have two crane ignitions in my bag. And then uh, some like little wires and clips and stuff like that. Because it happened to. It's like. I don't know with me man when something goes down especially with the, if it's a new build it's like i want to have everything on me that right. way i can fix it if i need to and of course wiring ain't my strong suit right. so dad jumped right on it and he figured it it's out good to have but. somebody knows exactly kind of what they're doing because like when i first started riding it man i was like i just assumed that i'm not going to have to have tools because if i carry them with me <laughs> i want to use a, them that's asking for it to break <laughs> but if i don't have tools well it's like first time i ever took it out i went to mountain city through where we went today yeah and I had a wire. I didn't realize this at the time, but I kept having firing issues and stuff. Ended up, I was running a wire like off the top of my bike or off the back one. Right. I used to run them under the seat. This ain't the seat I originally had on it, but it was rubbing rubbing under the seat pan and it had rubbed through. And you can see that it had done that eventually after we kind of like got to looking at it and seeing what was going on. Right. And then this dude in this like 32 some coupe, <laughs> he pulled up and he's like, hey man, you need some tools and i was like yes i have <laughs> nothing i have absolutely nothing it was like 258 degrees outside and there was three thousand people in mount city right. nobody wanted to help us but, <laughs> but, guy but this like, guy there some sick motorcycles and blah blah you know so yeah i mean it's a love-hate relationship like you'll you'll be riding it around and it'll be doing great and then all of a sudden it just dies like yours did today, <laughs> yeah. like mine did yesterday and then you're like what, what what the hell you're building something from the ground and it's all custom it's gonna have custom well, problems it's like you get on forums <laughs> like they're actually gonna help you i mean you because you i've screwed with everything on this bike <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like front to back to every as far as not splitting the cases and pulling the crank out that's as far as it's been right like i've touched it i've measured the tolerances and stuff but it's never been that i mean it's been that apart so it's like, man, it's hard to tell what the heck I've actually done. <laughs> I don't up. remember. But mechanically, it's always been pretty solid. It's just like little stuff, you know? Like if yeah. you ride them hard, you're going to have problems. Yeah. You know? And I mean, <clears throat> we, I mean, I ride them, man. Hell, it's. That's what while, you built it for, man. Yeah. Like. <laughs> there for a while, it was my daily because my truck was a piece of junk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? They got that. I just I couldn't trust that truck to go anywhere and it was tearing up and it was just sketchy as hell to drive and then here I was on this thing in the rain and the, you know not the snow because that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been out uphill in, both ways <laughs> yeah, just like grandpa did man. but uh I love it man like I just 
I, as far as I know, I don't plan on getting into like FXRs and D Dinas and all that stuff. I love choppers. I just like old ratty ass motorcycles. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, yeah. You know, not that these are that old, but I mean, I don't know what we'll be saying when we turn like I don't know sixty something. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah. I'll be, Shoot, I'll be saying there. that tomorrow. I'll be right now. Dude. <laughs> Let me ride my rigid frame motorcycle to my bent over machine shop job. <laughs> now I understand there's uh some 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 new happenings on the exhaust too by accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've been eyeballing them dang uh dirty uh dirty biker Paco exhausts. Yeah. I, <clears throat> they're modeled after those uh Dick Allen ABC two into one deals that come out. It's like two pipe, two drag pipes that come into one like three inch big dump pipe. Right. And they come out with one. I've been wanting to build one forever, but I'm just haven't done it, you know. And uh, I put this all made, garage made, buddy of mine built it two and one on it. And it does pretty good. I mean, it's not what I want, but it's pretty, I mean, it ain't bad. But yeah, I was on the internet screwing around and I thought the thing said proceed to check out, but it said check out and then there went some money out of my bank account. Like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, oops so i made a uh, decision i was like well i mean that's about the only way i'd end up buying something like that so i mean right when i get it uh definitely gonna post pictures of it it's gonna be sick hopefully i'm, I'm hoping that after spending all that money that i'm really gonna like it <laughs> i'm sure you will because i always talk about it, it just looks like a big block chevy header hanging off the side of the bike yeah, and it just looks just so cool that i went down here to the peterbilt and snagged a tip off a peterbilt <laughs> truck and just had a buddy of mine weld it up to the end of my yeah bag. dude because they look gnarly I, yeah, I, dude, I mean they're huge they look like they're that damn big around i know it looks like you can just <laughs> stuff your whole arm in there i'm sure it's gonna sound crazy because i've always had like i've always run inch and three quarter pipe that I guess that's what that is. I'm not entirely sure. It might be two inch, but yours are inch and three quarter, and that's you. I've I've run just regular straight drag pipes forever. Yeah. I put a two into one on my bike, and I was like, dang, back pressure. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. That's a semi built motor. Right. With cams and stuff, and but I've just never had the back pressure, and then I put that two into one on it, and I was like, holy crap. It, it lights them up, man. Because when I put these little grates, I I don't think I showed this on the channel yet, but. I call them like little great baffle things. Yeah, those are cool. I just like those. made those, dude. And even this little 883, it lit it up. Like, it's not like, you know, you're not going to get in top gear and be flying, but it's well, you, uh, through the gears, you got more. Power, you're definitely going to feel it. Yeah, yeah. And through yeah. the gears, you got way more torque. Mm -hmm. That low end torque. But. Well, where, they, where, uh, the, 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 where can they find you if they want to keep up with you? Well, I'm pretty active on Instagram, I guess. I'm on there as the Low Didian. Low Didian. Not Low Di Diane or <laughs> <laughs> whatever, everybody else. Uh, the underscore L O D I D I A N. Gotcha. And it's just pictures of my bike, dude. <laughs> very interesting. But if you think my bike's cool, you're going to like my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of this bike on the channel. We'll be ripping and roaring and riding and all that good stuff. But Oh, yeah, dude. Bound to happen. Bound to happen. Glad we could make this tank happen, dude. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just glad we finally got it done because I've been thinking about it. You said something about it at New Year's. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I've thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. <clears throat> and then just riding like i just every time i rode it was just tearing up that other gas tank it it's cool time. i mean like and i've been trying to figure out more on who who dirty ed actually is so i yeah. posted on i got on facebook posted in them old like shovelhead biker chopper page you know, <laughs> yeah. thing. And i was like and it said no sportsters in capital letters or, you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i get in there i post it and i said does anybody know anything about a guy named dirty ed that painted this tank and they were like looks like a child painted it that's a sports <laughs> fan right off the bat i was on there for about like seven eight minutes and they kicked me off because i'm on a sports ground i was like this ain't got more miles going backing it up to curbs than you do going forward <laughs> brother <laughs> <laughs> i don't know so i just uh it's i need to go pick it up from jacob's house but it's just gonna be wall art unless i find something you know i'd like to build something longer in a two-week payday yeah yeah slap at some bitch on there <laughs> build one like him uh stout little mopeds we saw today and throw it that on there was pretty sick i wish i would have got that it was a little moped and it was hitting hard and it sounded like you took a harley and just went doo -doo -doo and just sized it down like a two-third <laughs> yeah it, it was, was hitting. so sick like seth me and seth was standing there talking <laughs> and or me and you were standing there talking and uh all of a sudden we heard this like 
little baby V twin. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> 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 Look at that whoa, whoa, whoa. thing. Look, turn around and it yeah, just like, come through, and then you parked it, and everybody's like, yeah, all Watching them like fifty grand by. baggers and yeah. stuff. And Speaking of fifty grand baggers, we seen one stand straight up. <laughs> straight dude, up, nasty. saw the whole bottom side of this darn bagger, man. Like and that, the what was surprising was the dude looked a little like oh didn't mean to do that and the <laughs> woman on the back was kind of chill about the whole Casual thing check, like man, she was fine with it but i don't think he meant to because he drug the tips off the he dog. did he yeah went, we heard wah wah and <laughs> <laughs> I said, dang but i think my favorite was the crotch rockets today they took off and were like doing massive burnouts they like 110 mile an hour in second gear i mean i i don't know man i like I, I've rode one. I'm not a fan of them. I guess. I mean, they're fast. They're fun. But they're really only the thing. The only thing you can do on them is just haul ass. And yeah, yeah. And break the law. <laughs> like you can have more fun going 35, 40 mile an hour on a chopper than you'll ever have going 35, 40 mile an hour on a cross chopper. Yeah, because you were saying you rode one and like the handlebars didn't turn a whole lot. You yeah, both I mean, like I'm lean it, lean it. Stuff like this, and then you get on one and you're like up on top of it, leaning forward, holding on like this, and then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a crazy ride thing. yeah like i take this thing three four five hundred miles down the road yeah dude ride that thing down that road that far <laughs> like, oh god and i ain't got suspension <laughs> <laughs> but dude yeah that thing's cool it's a work it's still a couple things on i just can't leave nothing alone i mean Oh, me either. I'm sure that'll look completely different by the end of the season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or next season. Well, you just figure out what you like. You ride it, and you're like, damn, I wish this was just a little bit different. Like, I want to change my brakes up. I want to build a better seat pan. I'd like to do something different with the sissy bar. Yeah. You know, I kind of finally got the front end about where I want. I, I'd like to do, a, like, a spool hub wheel because I still run that, uh, that uh, rotor wheel or whatever. Uh, the brake pad, brake brake rotor yeah, wheel, I mean, whatever stock. Yeah. With a spool on it than it would with that. Would have been cool if we could have won that Invader wheel from Lead yeah. Sled, dude. Yeah, <laughs> man, that'd have been sick. I'd have slapped that dude on there. <laughs> Sent her to the chrome shop. God. Right, heck, he might have had it chromed. Black wouldn't look bad. A black Invader up front on that thing would look evil. If I had money, man, I'd just have 30 of them. <laughs> I know, yeah. I just did 30 Sportsters that were like built completely the different. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it, man. I've had three. I had a O, I had a O one. I had a ninety nine, and this one's a ninety four. And I can like, I've never rode anything harder than I've ever rode a Sportster, and they just keep going. I mean, they tear up every now and then, but it's never like you don't blow them up. No, yeah, and when you like blow the transmission stuff. up, it's like, yeah, you can just take the whole thing out, throw it all in, you know? Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's like legos <laughs> yeah adult lego on bikes and stuff because i'm too damn big to crawl around in cars <laughs> yeah can. how tall are you by the way i like six one or so but i'm just a big dude and i hate crawling <laughs> around in and under dashes and cars but hell a bike's right there in front of you yeah you know? and then you get that frame what is it uh four up six out four up whatever the combination is you get that thing real tall <laughs> yeah man, I mean, i'd love to do something like that with that one that's just that's still stock in the front i wish it wasn't but i'd like to do the window and then cut the front of the neck out kind of like how jacobs is yeah it just cleans it up and uh puts some space in there you know but it's all in due time you know the motor probably does need to come back out and i probably do need to freshen it up a little bit i put a I resealed it a couple of years ago, but as you can tell, it leaks. <laughs> Not, but, they all do. <laughs> black, dude. If I had a white bike, uh, you'd see it. No, uh, I like it a lot, man. It's it's been a fun bike. I don't think I I don't see myself getting rid of this one at all. No, man. That's just one. Even if you had, like you said, like a fifty grand, whatever, this would still stay yeah, in the garage, house, dude. Unless somebody wants to give me like twenty five thousand dollars, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yes. Take it, dude. Take it. <laughs> I don't need it if you want it that way. You can do some zip tie work. Yeah, zip ties are also holding mine all together. <laughs> Actually, I need to cross that out and go this bike. <laughs> this this bike. bike sucks. No. She's a good one, man. I like her a lot. Oh, eat it. Oh, that's right. You didn't even say that. It's, oh, it, yeah. Hell, I'm sorry. No. Uh, well, so when I got a hold of the tank, I seen that, you know, I wanted to name it something. And I was like, what could it, what could I possibly name it? 
so i seen dirty ed down there on the bottom of the tank you know i was like well i'm not gonna ride a bike named ed no uh, <laughs> yeah go jump on ed real yeah, quick go get on ed real quick <laughs> i guess it'd have been funny but i uh i ended up i was like so what is a chick's name that starts with ed like edna or edith and i was like i like edith a little better so she's been edith for as long as you know the old tank still you know that's the original edith tank but she's still edith man yeah and that's what like the the whole thing with that tank i still wanted it even people that knew the bike i wanted them to walk up to it and be like okay yeah, yeah that's the updated and people have you know? man people like ivan and them that's already i mean it's been around my bike for years yeah and because it's been together and rolling for it all, over four years now so i mean people that's been around it's like oh you know that's yeah definitely very similar with its own twist because i mean like the old tank had these like airbrushed devil tail yeah i was like, gonna say even on the side of course it's dirty but it's like dirty and got gas on it i put like just one of those little devil tails and then you know we both love heavy metal and weird flames. stuff and flames <laughs> so i tried to make like what if it was what if the flames were like those branchy you know death core heavy metal just letters call them seth flames because they're, flame. <laughs> they're just skinny and long and they'll reach out and get you <laughs> watching but then we did, you know, of course, it couldn't be 100% perfect. So put a little bit of relic cracks on it and stuff like that. Because he knew I was going to leak gas on it. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> like right now, it looks absolutely perfect. Like that amount of gas leaking down it and dirt and it's whatever. It's going to get better. Yes, yeah. I've been learning to wheelie. It just <laughs> slings gas down on the whole thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think that's it. I guess tomorrow you'll be ripping up the, to Massey's, right? Yeah, we're going to go up to Hog Wild. <laughs> <laughs> up there at uh, Floyd Meadows of Dan. He does a big, uh, a, he cooks a bunch of chili on Friday night, and then we go Saturday, and it's a big AMCA event. So you got, like, old dudes with nice, like, <laughs> knuckleheads and pan heads and just clean, and then you got dudes on choppers. and Yeah. It's, like, a 100 some bikes in a big group ride on saturday and sometimes we make the whole ride sometimes we make it about four miles yeah it's, it's just like a luck the whole ride's like 80 or 120 miles or something right but i mean with riding basically only old bikes you're going to sit on the side of the road somewhere yeah at some point in time you know because that's just i mean asking for it <laughs> <laughs> it's cool man it's a good ride across the mountain about two hours braxton's gonna meet me at the house uh I gotta work in the morning a little bit. Braxton's gonna meet Shoot. me at the house and uh, we're gonna skedaddle across the mountain and hopefully outrun some rain. And then hopefully we stay dry all weekend. Dude, yeah. You know, I just, I don't mind a rider riding the rain or through the rain, but if it's gonna piss for the whole time, that kind of I don't sucks. care what bike you're on, being in the rain sucks. <laughs> I don't care how comfortable your suspension is, it's gonna be bad. Or your windshield or your front <laughs> brakes and all that stuff. I mean, they're just not built for that and these straight tread shinkos all they do is recirculate water yeah they throw it right in your face off the crap off the frame so it's pretty cool <laughs> bath, the only bath she gets <laughs> yeah dude yeah we're gonna go up there and i guess hang out in his backyard and eat some pig a <laughs> big pork chill, guy big pork guy <laughs> right here <laughs> hell yeah sounds like a plan like I said, y'all probably see this bike way, way more on the channel ripping around. But good talking with you as always, brother. Yeah, man. And we'll uh, get to ripping around some more here for sure. Heck yeah. All right, so there you have it. Brand new tank, brand new paint job, uh, some ripping on the bikes, a little bit of everything in this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I love making these videos when I can and uh, you'll definitely be seeing some more of these got another friend who just got his bike together uh, and it's got a tank on it that i painted so uh y'all probably be seeing that here on the channel soon as well um and i got way more footage up there from riding rode with several other buddies and uh, went several other awesome places up there check out glade springs uh area um chill howie uh rich valley all that stuff if you know about that then you know if you don't check it out the snake it's just beautiful beautiful riding area up there so y'all check that out but anyway uh, thanks for watching this video we'll catch you in the next one and yeah
battery. Yep. God! <laughs> to the parts store! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, shit. Shit.